Hi. What does this steel pipe have to do with trail riding and horse camping? Well, if you've towed a trailer, either to go trail riding or horse camping, you've probably had a flat tire. And if you haven't had a flat tire, you've either been incredibly lucky or you haven't been out nearly enough. Hi, I'm Robert from Trailmeister. And when I'm not on the trail or in camp, I'm helping people gain the skills and the confidence to realize their dreams of the outdoors. Before we get too much further, please click on those like and subscribe buttons and please use those Amazon links to help us keep creating content for you. I feel special. My last three trips into Montana's Bob Marshall Wilderness Complex have ended in flat tires. Yes, it's a lousy road, but the Bob is a special place. It's twice the size of Rhode Island and a whole lot prettier. So that road in and out. Yeah, it's pretty wretched and it's notorious for eating tires. Unfortunately, changing those tires isn't always as easy as it should be. Lug nuts are regularly over tightened. Lug wrenches that come with our vehicles are often ridiculously short. These T-handle lug wrenches are a lot better than what generally comes with our vehicles. But even this doesn't give me a whole lot of leverage and leverage is the key to changing our tires. When this happens, this can be your best friend. Archimedes said, give me a lever and I can move the world. Well, let's make a lever and let's get back on the road to get to or from camp without having to wait hours for a tow truck. Of course, if you do choose to call for roadside assistance to change your flat, you're gonna have plenty of time to ponder some pretty deep thoughts as you wait. I think if a company offers you a better rate when you cancel a subscription, I think they were overcharging you in the first place. Looking at you, serious radio. Or you could be prepared and be back on the road in 10 minutes or even less. By the way, this video is brought to you by the ABCs of trail riding and horse camping. It's a best-selling book that you can find on Amazon, and it's got hundreds of field-tested tips to make your next ride that much better. I'll put the link to Amazon down below. Breaker bars, sometimes you hear them referred to as cheater pipes, they've been keeping the world rolling for eons. As Archimedes knew, a lever is an amazing piece of gear and they're easy with a capital E. All you have to do is find a piece of pipe. There's one around the farm or just go to your hardware store. Make sure that the inside diameter will accommodate your lug wrench. That's pretty much all there is to it. Make sure that you can fit it over the lug wrench. Easy peasy. This four foot bar combined with my T-handle lug wrench turns a 12 inch lug wrench into a 48 inch lug wrench. That 48 inches, that extra three feet, allows me to apply a lot more torque when I'm either tightening or in most cases, loosening my lug nuts. The lug nuts on my trailer are supposed to be set to 150 foot pounds of torque. And torque is just how hard you're pressing on something. With this breaker bar, this cheater pipe, all I have to do to get that 150 foot pounds of torque on my uh, lug nuts is press on this. But with this extended handle, I only have to use 37 pounds of pressure on this pipe to put 150 pounds of torque on the nut. Heavens, if I can lift my saddle, I can apply that to a lug nut. And it's a lot better than waiting for roadside assistance. For you folks that are mathematically inclined, you can calculate torque by multiplying the length of your lever, the length of your cheater pipe. Here comes a helicopter. I think helicopters are nifty, but uh, been in them. Don't want to go again. Much rather ride my mules. So, for the mathematically inclined among us, you can calculate torque by the length of your lever, the length of the cheater pipe, by the amount of force you're applying to that lever. And like I said, with this four feet, all I have to do is apply 37 pounds of pressure to the end to create that torque movement on my lug nuts to 150 feet pounds. The formula looks like this, T equals F multiplied by R, where T is torque in foot pounds, F is force in pounds, 
and R is the lever arm length in feet. It's like magic. To the people that say you should keep a cordless impact wrench in your truck, I'm gonna respectfully disagree. Not only is a pipe a heck of a lot less expensive than a cordless impact wrench, there aren't any batteries to worry about, and I can drop it without breaking it. The same can't be said for that uh, impact wrench. Well, there you go. My take on getting back on the road when you're traveling with horses. For more practical information about trail riding and camping with livestock, give us a visit at trailmeister.com. It's also the world's largest guide to horse trails and camps. Happy trails until next time.